Automization, there's not going to be any automization. You don't need to automize anything in this game. You can just do it perfectly fine with 500 people punching the ground with their bare hands. So basically, we we tried to attempt this on Friday. We got very close. Um, we managed to get 600 people joining the server at one point, which is a record for Factorio. This is Factorio like no other. A Factorio experience which no one can really offer you slash should offer you. Now, what are we doing today? Uh, the server and our intention is to basically speedrun Factorio with roughly 500 players. The aim is to just beans the entire speedrun process by just having more and more people. One slight downside of having this many people is there's a bit of an incoherent mess when it comes to actually any progression. You know what, I think we're actually ready for this. I think we might be ready to unpause the game. This is going to be a very unique situation. Oh yes. Oh, it's a fresh new world, a fresh new experience. Oh my goodness, look at the people joining in now. Oh now this is what I call a server. Oh, this is very nice. Very, very nice. Let the flood begin. Oh, look at how perfectly uniformed out they are. Oh, actually they're now starting to overlap. Okay, people are now overlapping on top of each other in a slightly disgusting fashion, but you know what? It's good. It, it works. It's This is the forces of people who are going to speed run this game. Uh, so yeah, the aim is pretty simple. Run our way down this tech tree to rocketry and then well not quite rocketry run the way down the tech tree to uh as soon as we can actually launch rockets from the rocket silo and then job done we've won the game that's all we have to do there's a lot of people in this game already a huge amount of people my goodness this is actually looking pretty glorious indeed perfect right how we're gonna do it is um i'm gonna set an area for the red boys oh wait was it red coat meet up spot there we go we're gonna meet all the red coats up in here and then even though we're gonna have starter pistols we're gonna rush this base over here just with the immense horde of people at the start of the game and that should be enough to defeat them hopefully my goodness this is going to take a lot for the game to process because there are currently about several hundred players leveled on top of each other all at the same time i have no idea if this is going to function please oh my goodness please oh actually wait no it's frozen okay now it's back now it's back oh we got movement oh and it's alive all right this is perfect now to go to the red coat meeting point uh, which is just the big red big red square Square on the map. Good stuff. Okay, there's one other person here with a gun, and that's it. So, myself and Victor if have a gun. No one else seems to have one. <laughs> as much as I'd love to Zerg rush them with melee. Okay, fine. Maybe we Zerg rush them. Fine. I'm gonna need more people here, though. Oh, wow, you really can actually melee them. That looks pretty impressive. Right, this is looking good. Time to advance. There's only, like, a handful of guns here, but it's fine. It's just the Soviet military. When one gun falls, you pick another up. Killing this big splitter thing, though, is gonna be important. There we go. Kill that, and then that one needs to die and you need to die and you oh my god i'm almost dead oh look at them go though they are just hitting them oh my god look at the melee potential look at the dps on this this is amazing okay there we go one base dead well done everyone we've we've done a good job we've killed our first couple of alien bases all right military go back we've got to start expanding the bases getting more production up and running we need more iron we need more coal we need more copper uh admittedly we could rush all of the bases now whilst they haven't evolved but actually there's a base to the north okay let's go north Come on, bread boys. Teddy, did you just run off with my... Teddy, are you running off with my iron? Teddy. Oh my god, I'm going to kill you, Teddy. I'm literally going to murder you. I haven't even got the wooden crates necessary to trap you in. I'm going to need to cut down more trees to... In all... Wait, Hassing, are these all trees? Oh my god, where have all the trees gone? I just thought these, these were like landmines or something. But no, this is just trees which people have murdered. Oh my lord. This is um horrible and yet also pretty cool at the same time. Good job, everyone. Wow, so we've murdered all of the trees here. They're all gone. Um, are there any other trees? Only really, really far south. That's great. And we have electricity hooked up already? Fantastic. Um, all right, I'm going to do my part by hand mining stone to get some furnaces down. I'm doing my part, ladies and gentlemen, by joining the ridiculous cacophony of uh, people mining stone. Oh my goodness. Look at this. We don't need drills. You don't need drills. Drills create pollution. You know what doesn't? Bare hands. Just scoop the rocks up with your bare hands and cram them into a furnace somehow. It's perfect. Right, there we go. A bunch of furnaces. Let's get these down. Oh, this is looking great. Oh, we're really helping here. Oh my god, look at all the names. <laughs> it's so horrible to look at. Factorio was not made for this, but it's good. It's good. What is this exploit? Just pure numbers. Just add more people until you complete the game. Automization? There's not going to be any automization. You don't need to automize anything in this game. You can just do it perfectly fine with 500 people punching the ground with their bare hands. Much more efficient than like high-level technology mining drills, okay? So much better.
so there's there's an argument to be made for running out and attacking all of the bugs before they level up. So what happens is eventually the aliens evolve and they go from being small biters, which we can punch to death ridiculously easily, to becoming large biters or medium biters. Now medium biters are very tricky to deal with. They're very aggressive, really quite powerful, and they just shrug off even pistol damage. So they're something we do have to contend with, but for the moment we're okay. There is actually maybe an argument to be had for trying to deal with this area over here maybe right red coat assembly point this is fine i've got 10 10 bits of ammunition oh my god someone's putting a gun down on the floor someone grab it grab the gun if you don't have a gun there's a gun right there trust me you'll need it now nine clips of ammunition i think i'm ready to do an attack right if all the other red coats are ready then i do believe we can probably take out those bases again um so there's a tiny hive over there called attack then we'll move up to destroy the enemy then clear the hive destroy the base attack this base and then we can deal with this stuff over here good stuff this looks great right red coats and let's go my men valiant warriors oh wait there's an attack coming brace yourselves my men good yep this is fantastic oh yep just run and shoot your way through them as we go oh there's a there is a genuinely a lot wow that's a huge quantity seems a bit too many for this game but you know that's fine and they've got a second wave immediately coming which we can see on the radar so that's fine we just got to brace ourselves for even more lovely stuff this is very generous of them something uh, is happening over there uh, all of the aliens are just running away to the south and you know what that's okay we're gonna run past the aliens which are running away to the south and we'll use this as an opportune moment to uh, to attack and um i'm gonna try and take out one of these spitters and the other one there we go and now it's base attacking time Oh, perfect stuff. Oh, no, we're getting attacked from the rear at the same time, but it's okay. Right, now I'm going to be out of ammunition, so it's punching time. Right, and north. Okay, let's advance north. Oh, my goodness, someone fell. What did they have on their body? They had ammunition. Thank you for the ammunition. All of the resources, thank you. Rest in peace, my brother. He died, but his resources will not be forgotten. Oh, my goodness, that's another base defeated. Good stuff. Well done, my glorious redcoats. Right, and north we go. Just keep punching the bugs. Wait, actually, do we go north? Oh, no, it's, it's east. No, west we need to go go west west my men yes there's a lot of biters but it's all fine that's good and boop and boop oh my god there's a lot of biters there okay we need to work on this horde okay that's a lot of dead bodies now that's good okay and um time to help everyone out on the front lines yep all you gotta do stand on the front lines and wail away oh yes this is now actual warfare this is how war is conducted <laughs> trust me it's done with swarms of human beings with pickaxes all right there we go that's all of the kind of bases dealt with which i think we should have should do so um there's okay there's one last one straight west so we'll run to the one straight west and then we'll return to base oh my goodness this is actually working i think we have almost 450 people in all right let's defeat all of these spitters the small worms oh this is good there we go they're all dealt with and now oh i'm gonna need to eat some fish there we go fish was the answer oh yes oh perfect that's an entire base destroyed they are sending in reinforcements from the north but that's fine all right time to return to base and get some actual weapons because the biters are going to evolve soon and it's better to be ahead of the biters ah now even if we don't break the record for the fastest factorio speedrun multiplayer we are at least well we already have broken the record for the most continuous factorio players on one server so hats off to everyone well done oh we've almost automated iron good job people well done everyone well done the glorious people automating iron and the those trying to set up coal routes as well well done they're very important jobs very much necessary for our peoples good stuff oh my god look at this look at the automated iron setup this is awesome oh let's get more of these iron mines built what do we need we need uh i need 23 iron sheets and then i can get one built perfect right i'll just uh nab them and we can get more iron plates oh my god this is great this is looking absolutely amazing and we've got power oh we've got electricity for days oh so much electricity oh my god look at this all right so how this is going to work is basically iron ore goes down here it gets pushed down this long conveyor uh this conveyor feeds it all the way down through here and then it's going to get pushed through here and this is the ridiculously large smelting line so what happens here is this is smelted and then pushed on other huge conveyors which will then get put onto this long central bus transport belt and the central bus i'm gonna hazard a guess is then going to start getting fed off to produce things like science packs what is this down here i'm guessing this is the assembly system for science packs nice good um so what is the plan here steel copper brick and then raw materials for crafting over here um this needs to die this apparently also needs to die the unknown area brackets denmark apparently over here uh Mc mcdoodled oil over here this oil is claimed by norway inc and mcdoodles oil tycoon nice this is norway inc hq okay and then 
If I remember correctly, this is the Norwegian guys as well. Uh, yeah, these are the Norwegian boys. I have no idea what they're doing over here, but they have a pretty interesting setup. I'll give them that. Only iron ore, though. That's the only thing they have access to. Where, what are the alarms? Where is getting attacked? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, this coal place to the north is getting attacked. They are trying to build a coal mine next to a base. Of course it's going to happen. All right, we'll watch the Norwegians fight for their own land. Go, Norwegians, go. Uh, right, what are we going to do? I guess with my military, we can go help them take out this base because we do need it gone before it starts spewing up medium biters instead of just regular little ones. So, men, uh, meet at the Red Army camp and we shall advance. Okay, this looks like a decent group of people in order to attack. The poor Norwegians are retreating. They've lost, evidently. Rest in peace, Norwegians. Are there any dead, dead Norwegian bodies we can steal from? Oh, there's one here. Oh, look at that. There's ammunition on that one. Right, redcoats, to show up those Norwegians, we shall defeat the biters. We shall do so valiantly and we shall also steal the corpses of the men that they left behind. And by doing so, we will be cooler and more impressive. So, my men, charge northways. Let us go. We're going to show up those Norwegians and we're going to show just how awesome and great we are in comparison to the weak Norwegians who can't even fight off a few lousy insects, I know. And by the way, when I said a few lousy insects, I wasn't referring to the Norwegians. Or maybe I was. Oh, yes. The Norwegian faction has absolutely... They, they've got nothing on this... Look at this line. Look at this line of players. So ready, so awesome, so majestic. Yeah, you, you leave Norway. Look at them. Look at them try. Look at them try and do things. Yeah, you can't. You know you can't. We're going to take your dead bodies. We're going to take your superior weaponry. Know what we're going to do with them? Better things. We're going to save the world with them. All right, open fire, my men. If you see a bug, kill it. Remember, as we got here and suddenly the tides of war have changed, it consequently means we were the determining factor in this victory. So, as a result, the victory is ours and not the Norwegians. Oh, I'm dead. Well, that is a bit of an issue. Um, Redcoats, keep attacking, though. Keep up the offensive. It's fine. Redcoats, if you retreat, it's an embarrassment for the British people, so keep going. If one person dies... Pe oh, my God, look at all the red corpses. Go by Redcoats, go. Wow, we're actually researching things like the steel axe. This is great. Technology is happening. Oh, here we go. The fight against the Norwegians. Slash, well, it's against the aliens, but, you know, the Norwegians are there. All, right, all I need is a body with a gun on it. So what do we got here? Oh, cool. We got a gun and we got some fish and some heavy armor. That's, you know, that's good. So we've got some heavy armor. We haven't got any bullets, but we have got... Oh my God. All right, just eat the fish. Eat the fish. Um, eat the fish and punch some aliens. All right, where's some ammo? I need some ammo. Wait, I've got... I've, oh my God, I've come up with an idea. Oh my God, a great idea. I can just steal items from the Norwegians from their inventory. Thank you, Norwegian man, for giving me your entire inventory. Don't worry, it's taxation. I promise. I 100% didn't just steal all of that. Okay, this is fine. Oh, look, there's a Norwegian man with a gun. He probably has ammunition. Come back, come back. Let me steal your inventory. Yes, okay. 26 bullets. There we go. He was literally shooting his gun as I stole the ammunition from it. This is fine. There we go. I have a gun now, so I can help. There we go. I will now fight with the glorious British peoples against the aliens. Oh, no, they've got medium biters. Oh, no. Are they, are they spawning from here? Okay, um, redcoats retreat. Retreat. Trust me, full retreat. We're out of here. Everyone, everyone pull back. Uh, let the Norwegians die, but this is no longer winnable because the bugs have just evolved to the second phase. Let me quickly cover our defensive path. Uh, all the redcoats get past I'm just going to build a nice little wall here. Uh, da, da, da. There we go. Build a nice little wall. Good stuff. Right, redcoats, pass your way through. Right, and now we never go north again. Um, Just leave that behind us. That's fine. Let it be. What on earth is going on down here? Like, no progress has been made other than bloody the Uwu gang. So, some person who exists, his own only existence is to create art down here. This is his one job, just to create glorious bits of art. Um, Red, red boys, meet over at the red assembly plant. So, make sure to set your color to red and then meet up over there because i have a plan this is of course if you're not doing actual valuable things to society like progressing science so what we're going to do okay this is important you've got to listen to this what we're going to do is over here where it says hiel uh, the norwegians want us to help instead what we're going to do we're going to run over here and we're not going to fight the insects we're going to absorb the insects and they're going to follow us so you run in you aggro them and then you're going to run in this direction here okay you're going to run just simply up the coast with a big line of insects following you and you're just going to deposit them roughly right here in the center of the Norwegian factory. Okay, that sounds good. Right, let's go, my men. Let's uh, start aggroing some aliens. Now we're going to see um, a lot of panicky um, Norwegians um, because there's a very large amount of red boys coming their direction. My goodness. I just hear an incessant also quantity of beeping, which I have no idea what it means, but it's probably something bad. Okay, here we go. Right, don't fight them. Simply run on over and just get some aggro. 
Get some sweet, sweet aggro. There we go. Let's run close to these bad boys. There we go. And that's what I call aggro. And now we run. We run and we run fast. Okay, now we're actually just killing them. Okay, screw it. Let's kill this base. Let's do it. Let's actually help Norway. Let's help Norway. Let's be the better person because we are the better person. We're better than Norway. I know. Had to be said. Let's build a quick uh, defensive wall. Nice basic one. Oh my god, the ground is so acidic. Okay, don't stand on the green splodges on the ground, else you die instantly, my men. Okay, go. March in. If you don't have ammo, you know what to do. You just stand. Assist anyone who is close to death. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Oh yes, we're doing some good stuff here. Goodness, the DPS machine. Oh no, we're getting attacked. Oh, okay, we're getting attacked. And we're out of here. We're out of here. We're out, we're out, we're out. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Okay, I can stay and fight, but I need to eat some fish. Let's eat that fish. Get that health back. Oh my god, we've got walls. We've got walls now. This is crazy. This is ludicrous technology. Oh, we've defeated the base. Only one wormy thing remains. Wormy things have so much health. Look at it. 400. Good job, my red boys. Redcoats, you did it. Oh my good lord. We defended this glorious copper mine. All right, let us advance northways. There's another alien biter camp. We're going to just defeat them. We're going to help. We are actually helping Norway now. I know. The tables have turned and we're becoming the better person. Oh yes. Good job, red boys. Red boys. So good so powerful okay there's the biggest base on the map over to our right i think we might as well give it a try all right and fight 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 eat the fish it's just shoot and then ram a fish down your mouth oh my god look at the waves oh i've i've got no ammunition left after this all right it's time to melee i realized meleeing the big boys isn't a good idea okay uh men we're gonna run and collect tax from the norwegians and by that i mean we're just gonna go in and try and get some ammunition off of them norway we've um defeated the like local alien insurgents so offer up some ammunition please question mark i mean we're helping you know do 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 do, do. look they've got iron ore and that's what we need for ammo that's all we need. Yep, yeah, okay, red red men, just mine up all of the iron. Leave no iron for the Norwegians. I want this entire thing strip mined for no particular reason. What are we going to do with all of the iron ore I have in my inventory? Absolutely nothing, because we have no way of doing any... Actually, wait, we can just make furnaces. Right, red boys, get smelting the iron. Okay, let's just put a bunch of iron in here. Oh, yeah, this is going to go great. You can basically burn anything. Uh, so put in wood, put in coal. Let's just get these fires cooking. Get some iron ore going. Oh, yeah, this is efficient. This is fine. You don't need automation in Factorio. You just need this. Just whatever this is. What we need um, is grenades. We can now make them. They cost iron plates and coal. So basically we just need to start mass producing coal. Hang on a second. Are the Norwegians down here? Are the Norwegians harvesting coal down here? Oh my god, they are. Look at them. They're stealing our coal. They've really just got all the coal, haven't they? Oh wait, they just lost all of their coal in a freak coal-based accident. Fantastic stuff. Okay, right. Time to make a bunch of grenades and uh, we can start getting the, the Redcoat Grenadier army formed. So what the Redcoat Grenadier army is, uh, basically it's a group of untrained soldiers who are solely their one existence is to hold one grenade and run at the enemy and throw said grenade. And with enough grenades getting thrown, we should be able to take out almost every enemy. Now how it works is every person gets one grenade, maybe two, maybe two, we can give them two grenades. Go north and meet at the Redcoat meeting point and what I'll do is I will hand out grenades to peoples so that uh, we can, you know, get about this the most efficient way. Uh, who's going to be bestowed with the first legendary grenade? We're going to give it to uh, J, J. Caleb over here. Bam. So he gets grenade. Kilroy, you get a grenade. Oh, wait, no, there's just a grenade on the ground. That's fine. Grenades for everyone. And so what? if you have a grenade, what this means is uh, congratulations. It is your duty to run at the alien base. I'll give you the shout as to when you need to, but effectively, uh, you just have to run in and I'm going to put the marker down as to where you have to hit. Uh, yes, there's a lot of alien bugs there and they will try and kill you, but it's okay. So where you're going to have to try and land your grenade is this spot right here. Okay, so this is the target. Basically, we take out the enemy's artillery position. So what you do is you run in, you drop your grenade, and hopefully you'll do a small piece of damage to the enemy. And there we go. Okay, right. This seems good. Men, charge. If you don't have a weapon, it's okay, because with enough grenades, anything's possible. This is a unique time. Do not waste your grenades on the insects running at you. Trust in your fellow men to use their guns or pickaxes to defeat the actual like ground forces solely these grenades are for the actual buildings and the artillery of the insects uh if insects start running towards us men without grenades peel off and try and deal with them those with grenades just run go it's fine it's fine don't worry the men behind you have your backs don't waste your grenade there we go we've got it we've got it okay it's over to our left it's over to our left go 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 charge my men go go my grenade boys okay and throw and throw and throw oh i'm dead instantly okay my my body's on the floor and it has 10 grenades on it as well as 300 coal 
Look at it. It's worked. It's worked. The artillery is almost down. Oh my God. It's almost completely down. What a good strategy. Just hit them. Come on. Oh my God. Valiant Yardo Jafar. He's done it. He's in there. He's got no health, but he's just punching them to death. Oh my God. I'm so proud. So proud of my men. We did the impossible. God, look at the research. The research is actually going to start getting underway. This is fantastic news. Okay. This bit over here, we actually do need to deal with because we have biters over here attacking our energy supply over here. So, well, our coal supply. So, um, men, if you are still alive from the attack on the north or you, um, also, yeah, it works. Good job. Good job, everyone. We now have the coal fields. So everyone come back and what we'll do is we'll invade the emergency ASAP base over here because it's, you know, important. Um, right. I just need to get some resources for myself and get off the horrible treadmill, which they put on the spawn place. Thank you. I think I'm roughly prepared enough to throw myself into the front lines and let's go, my men. If uh, the redcoats are ready, come with me. We're going to go attack another base of bugs. Good stuff. So there's kind of like a nice little base set up over here uh, from the aliens and it should be a good time to uh, just use up some good resources, some ammunition, kill some aliens. This one's not really too much of a challenge. There's only a couple of artillery pieces this time. Um, so although they are, you know, a bit of a threat, not too bad really. There we go. There we go. Oh, we've done it. There we go. That's one base in almost instantaneously destroyed. Hats off, everyone. It's so good. Oh, and what's this? Island. Don't forget about this base. I feel like we can forget about it, though. <laughs> This place over here looks like they could do with some help, if I'm honest. Except we don't really have a way of getting over there, because there's no way... Do we have land? Is that, does anyone know how to make landfill? <gasps> Wait, we make landfill with stone. Okay, where's the nearest stone mine? Okay, men, we have an important task. We need to make landfill in order to build a bridge from island all the way over to wherever this region is. It hasn't got a name. Okay, so run back to the base. Where's the stone mine? Here's the stone mine. Find the stone mine in the base, harvest it, and make landfill. We're going to pave the map in. Okay, right, let's go, let's go mine some... Find some stone. Look at this. This is efficiency. I'm going to hazard a guess and say we have enough landfill to fill in that sea. So, uh, men, if you're ready, go back to Ireland and we're going to just cover that entire ocean in. Oh, right. Okay. If you have landfill, all you've got to do is just fill up a couple of tiles of the water. That's all you've got to do. You've got a four by four square to work with. Just fill it in a bit. Get us a bit closer towards the land. Right. Go, my men. Go. When one person runs out of landfill, build more. Okay. I've run out of landfill. Keep going, my men. Go. Go, charge we need more keep keep paving it down go north keep going <laughs> this is fine this is perfectly fine forwards men more landfill is necessary look we're almost there we are almost there look at the line we have is the server dead <sighs> Some people are going to get dropped. Some people are going to remain. This is just how the world works, you know. Oh, no. But as more people get dropped, I need to I need to skim their inventories of resources. There we go. This person had stone. This person had stone. Take the stone from the bodies because I need it to make landfill. There we go. I can make three more landfill. We're still not quite there. The coastline is just there. The coastline is northwest. We've almost made it, my men. Go. Uh, I'm going to need some red coats to go back to the stone mines because we need more. Yep, we've got to go get more stone. We didn't get enough stone last time, so go get some more. This is all necessary. I actually thought it would be possible to mine up a bunch of stone to fill in all of the uh, water, but apparently not. No, that's just that's just not allowed. Well, Colin just dropped a massive command on a local area, and consequently, server is dead. Thank you, Colin. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call it there for the evening. We had an absolutely fantastic fantastic go of it. We did fantastic stuff in Factorio. We will probably come back and try this again. Maybe not. Maybe. We'll have to see. I really did enjoy it, so quite possibly. Thanks as always to my majestic patrons who make these glorious live streams possible, as well as videos, because, you know, this is going to get edited up into a video, probably. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. And I'll see each and every one of you in the next one. Goodbye for now.